What's up YouTube? Okay, tonight I'm doing a video on shiny Pokemon and what my shiny favorite Pokemon are. Um, I actually haven't done a video on this topic, so I thought I'd do one, and this is all really based on uh, my opinion as well. So let's start this video off with just a couple um, of seconds of just some trivia. So, um, obviously shiny Pokemon were first around in the uh, Gen 2 games. Now, um, they were all signified by like a little shiny star. Uh, in Gen 1, you could get them through um, hacking devices, but um, as the Gen sort of went on, uh, Shinies got like a lot easier to get. Um, prime example, Pokemon X and Y, you could get them very, very easily, so definitely uh, valued more in the lower Gens. And uh, Shiny Hoodoo, that was only, Ash's only Shiny Poke, and uh, Shiny Gyarados uh, was interesting, because that was the first Shiny you actually got given for free. Now, uh, first up on my Shiny list is Muck. Now, uh, I know this is quite an interesting choice of uh, shiny Pokemon, but um, I'll give my reasoning. So, um, Muck starts off as like a, uh, uh, probably like a purple, like mauve sort of color. Um, its body changes, um, but its tongue and stuff inside its mouth, its tongue and like the black part of its mouth uh, actually stays the same, so it's just a full render on its body. Um, I believe Muck looks a lot better. There's a lot like worse green Pokemon out there uh, than Muck and I think it looks quite good and it suits him quite well for like a like a sludge Pokemon some really bad green Pokemon that I don't like I hate, hate to say this but I do I, I despise shiny green dragon I, I think it looks horrible on him I much prefer uh, the normal one uh, another really bad offender for the green one in my opinion is Nidoqueen. Queen it just doesn't look good on it um, some other sort of odd ones Ursaring looks funny with green, but I don't think it suits him that well. Um, but other ones like Espeon and uh, Mints don't look too bad on it. Uh, Muck is always... Shiny Muck is always um, a reminder me of this uh, movie I watched as a kid called Flubber. It's like a little, little ball um, of craziness. And uh, that's sort of why I give him that nickname. Anyway, um, next up is Glalie. Now, some Pokemon have dramatic shiny changes, and uh, some Pokemon have, like, not very dramatic shiny changes at all. This is most certainly one of them. But, in its defense, it's a good change. Um, so, starting off with its eyes, which is really the only thing that changes on it, uh, they sort of like a, are a sky blue color, which sort of offsets the more evil look on its face, in my opinion. And when you add that red sort of render to its eyes, it looks... 10 times more evil in my opinion. Um, a great classic example of something like uh, Glalie is another poke would be uh, Aron. Um, as they, all, they almost have the same sort of shiny change. Just their eyes change and make them look um, a hell of a lot more uh, e evil in my opinion. Okay. And um, <laughs> I have to say... It always, its mouth always reminds me of the guy off Batman. Um, it was a good series, I quite enjoyed that one. Every time I see him, I can just think of Gladly's mouth. It's, it's quite hilarious. Okay, anyway, um, what do we got up next? So, Warren is my next um, favorite shiny. Now, Warren sort of starts off as a uh, sort of a sky blue and like darkish blue sort of belly, and it gets a full like purple, a light purple render, I guess you could say. Um, as just bear in mind, shiny colors and shades and stuff do sort of waver in the gen, so I'm trying to be uh, as general as possible. But I think the worst offender for this color, and I have to say, is Kyogre. It looks bloody terrible pink, in my opinion. And Lugia, I, I, I really don't like those um, shinies on them, for sure. Um, also, Heracross looks really odd pink as well. I just don't think it suits him. And Mega Chomp looks... Oh, it just doesn't look right. Um, some good, some good, um, good ones would be. I have to say, Pachirisu looks um, good with that sort of color render as well. That's another uh, good one. And um, <laughs> yeah, type that one in Google and you'll get that. So my next um, poke that I'm looking at now is uh, Tangrowth. Now Tangrowth is a great Pokemon, and I think the shiny actually does him justice because if you look at him normally. Um, it's blue, a dark blue, and I think it, the green sort of makes it stand out a lot more with its uh, with its hair, I guess, or its 
its tentacles. I'd say that it hurts its hair. We'll just call it its hair. And um, I think it brings its features out a lot more. And it actually makes you focus on it more. And you can, its face stands out a lot more too. So I think it's uh, quite a good job they did on it. Um, some other sort of ones like that would be uh, like Oddish was another good one. It's very bright. And Mewtwo didn't look too bad with the green render. And Teddy Ursa didn't look, but it just looked sort of weird when it went to Ursa Ring, um, in my opinion. Uh, Beedra wasn't too bad as well, and Zubat. Uh, I actually found a, a shiny Golbat in uh, Gen 3, which was um, rather interesting. I think I found two, two shinies in a day. And it always reminds me of Green Spaghetti. Okay, uh, anyway, next poke up is Rapidash. Now, Rapidash is a very cool Pokemon, and has a very interesting and unique shiny pattern. Now, it's quite funny because grey shiny, you do actually don't see that too often. It's probably the most rarest, I'd say it's the most rarest shiny colour um, out of a lot of the Pokemon, if you really want to look at it that way. Not too many have it, um, and it does take quite a dramatic change from Ponyta to Rapidash as well. Ponyta being actually blue flames, and then it actually changes right to grey flames. So, there are a couple of Pokemon <clears throat> They get like a grey uh, sort of render, but I've yet to see one on like just pure grey, um, like extremities of their body pretty much. Uh, like Eevee's, Eevee does go like grey, and so does Nine. Ninetale sort of goes a grey, but they're more like uh, very light greys than um, like Fennekin does as well. But it sort of always reminds me of like a horse or unicorn riding through a storm. Um, I, so I really do actually like that. Right, my next Pokemon up here is, oh, I know someone's going to love this, is Minum. Now, it, not a, definitely, you definitely not call it a dramatic change in sh shiny uh, whatsoever, but it, it's a good one, and I think I suits it very well. Um, so the tips of the ears, the cheek pouches, the tips of the hands, and the tail uh, really makes it, it makes its features stand out as well, and it's a normal one as well, there's nothing wrong with that as well. Um, just bear in mind that I am i haven't got a problem with any of their normal um, looks as well. Um, they're, they're perfectly fine. So, um, interesting fact, the plus will actually goes uh, purple as well, so that's interesting. Um, some rather ones that I don't think are as good that go green are like the Bulbasaur line. I don't really think the it looks that great. I, I just feel it could be a bit better color and um, maybe Le Leafon could do it a little bit better in my opinion. Um, definitely get yourself one of these. So freaking awesome. So um, my next Pokemon we're going to have a look at is Waylord. Now Waylord is huge and um, it starts off with a, just a big sort of blue, deep blue sea sort of color. Um, but I think purple will actually, or mauve, actually sits it very well. And I always try and uh, get like a shiny one when I use it. Um, some Pokemon that I don't think look very well with the purple color would be Zoroark. I, I, look, I think that looks quite awful with it. Um, Braxion looks a bit... Eh, it doesn't look too bad, I guess. Uh, Vaporeon looks not too bad as, as well. as It's sort of the same as... Uh, Swampert does look a bit random with purple, I have to admit. And um, Lapras and Sharpedo don't look too bad with it either. And Ordino getting quite a... Um, oh look, this I, I just released my Waylord. Um, <laughs> let's get to the another one. So I had to collect Magikarp and lose this because I do love shiny Magikarp. And um, the golden render makes it look really cool in my opinion. Um, some Pokemon uh, have a golden render that look like shit. In my opinion, Pikachu needed a better shiny. Like, it just, it just dull, like a duller sort of yellow, I didn't really like that at all, like, what else, I think Raikou had it as well, um, Groudon actually gets a gold render, it doesn't look too bad I guess, um, another two amazing gold Pokemon in my opinion as well are Steelix and Geodude, I really like them in gold, they look great, and um, that's sort of like what Magikarp would look like in the wild. Now, Umbreon, I had to include this one, this is one of my very, very favourite shiny Pokemon, and um, it's funny how such a basic color render can change it. Um, just change the look on it. Not that the normal one was bad, I just think it looks really great with uh, the blue on it and it makes um, its features stand out a lot. 
sort of more than normal. Another great offender of that is um, Zangoose as well. Uh, just, that, just that slight change. And Electrode, Ditto, Kosola, uh, Blue's Clues, and like bad ones are like Poliwell. Now, who is that Pokemon, number one? You guessed it, it was Caterpie. I drew this myself. It's, um, it's on sale for two million on eBay. Now, um, let's go to Shiny Cavity. That gold render is so awesome. I just love it. And, um... Exodia, that's pretty much what you've got to expect when you use it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, video anyway. It was just a bit of fun. And uh, just my opinions and stuff. Uh, that's all. But if you've got like a favorite shiny Pokemon or have any opinions on shiny Pokemon, leave it in the comment section as well. If you like these sort of videos, and you want me to do more, leave a comment what you'd like me to do again, um, something different in there. And as usual, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. Peace out.